And when I was about four years old, I lived with my grandparents, and uh, breakfast breakfast was always an event at their house. Uh, I don't know, I've been in the habit of writing poems at the laundromat for some reason here late. I wrote five last time I was at the laundromat, so I think I'll start going more. This one's called Country Breakfast. Sitting around my grandmother's kitchen table, elongated, long, huge table. Mama worked continually cooking meals and cleaning. Breakfast at the crack of dawn. Eight relatives sitting at the table. Eggs, ham, biscuits, toast, gravy, fried potatoes, sausage, bacon, milk, and hot coffee. Plates filled high like Mount Everest. Mama ate lightly. She only snacked while she was cooking meals. No one had large stomachs, lean and mean. Worked from dawn to dusk, kept the weight in check. No need for dieting. The smells are still remembered by my nostrils. The chit chat still brings warm glows. Love was large at breakfast. I think most towns that are pretty good size have a bowling alley. Uh, I wrote this one, it's called Thunderbird Lanes. This was a pretty wild place back when I was a teenager growing up. Laughing, joking, talking, wearing shirts all the same color with white letters on the back, rolling the black balls down the alley, falling in the gutter. Pins sound like thunder crashing, cigar smoke, the smell of beer, taunting and teasing the losing team. Friday night leagues with the smell of musk and brute, bald heads and big bellies with testosterone, wrecking havoc into the wee hours. The meeting place of factory rats blowing off steam after slaving in the plantation, gloating over $2 bills and ranting and raving over cheap thrills. A typical night at the Thunderbird. I uh, everywhere I read this is a little bit of a controversial one. I think Gary kind of likes this one. It's called The Butts. Doubting the landscape across their land. On the highway, specks of orange fly out car windows, hitting the pavement and bursting into cinders. Non-biodegradable filters make their homes in crack and crevice. It's against the law to litter, but tossing cigarette butts is a, nor is a cultural norm. America, America, where have your butts gone? <laughs> this is about a social problem in our country. It's called life in the fast lane. So you're in the fast lane, living the fast life, gorging yourself with crack. The glamour and gliss has dazzled and courted you for years now. The vessels in your eyes are like red rivers from no sleep and clubbing through the night hours. You're so cool and invincible. You feel like Superman or Superfly. Life is blowing by you at hyperspace speed. You're in the fraternity of crackomania. You're too cool to realize the consequences. Long live the fast lane. 